My father came under literal fire as an incredible patriotic rally turned into a tragedy. On a field in Butler, Pennsylvania, a brave firefighter died. Others were injured, and as those bullets rained down, we came millimeters away from one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. You're like that man who stood on that platform and felt the bullet pierce. But we did lose an American hero that day. We wish that he were with us tonight. But his memory will live on forever in the hearts of his family, his community, and the nation that he loved. This November, we have a choice. It's a choice between one team that wants to build this country up and another that wants to tear this country down. It's a choice between people who are proud of America and people who are ashamed of America. And ultimately, it's a choice between America last and America first. tragedy that happened just a few days ago, we just wanted to give our hearts, we wanted to show him our love, our respect, our admiration, and if he needs to go through something, and he's going to fight, 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 he, we want him to know that the Arizona delegation feels the same way. We'll go through it with him. So out of solidarity, we said, you know what, let's show Donald Trump that we support him so much, and if somebody has to wear a cast, we'll wear a cast. If somebody has to have a bandage, we'll wear a bandage. We're behind him 100%. And how about the choice President Trump made for a running mate? J.D. looks like a young Abraham Lincoln, but he's from Ohio, like General Grant. And like General Grant, J.D. Vance knows how to fight. So they can run Biden from the nursing home, Harris, George Clooney, Robert De Niro, whoever they want to run. We are on a mission to rescue and save this country, and we ride or die with Donald John Trump to the end. Thank you all so much. Thank you for having my back. Yes, indeed. This morning, I did walk out of a federal prison in Miami. Joe Biden and his department of injustice put me there. Tonight, I'm here with you in this beautiful city of Milwaukee. I've got a very simple message for you. If they can come for me, and if they can come for Donald Trump, be careful, they will come for you. If we don't control our government, their government will control 
us. Donald Trump will once again become the President of the United States of America. He will enforce the immigration laws. He will fight the Mexican drug cartels. And he will arrest the criminal illegal immigrants and put them behind bars. Or send them back. 